Hi everybody, my name is Paul Turcher and I am a PhD student at ETH in the group of Professor Markus Reyer. Today I will give you a brief introduction into our current work on salvation free energies from subsystem density functional theory with sampling. Commonly, salvation effects are studied with continuum salvation models, for instance COSMO and PCM, as they are computationally very efficient. However, Strongly directional interactions, like hydrogen bonds, may not be modeled accurately by a continuum model. To capture these directed interactions, one wants to include a certain number of explicit solvent molecules. We studied the questions of how many of these molecules are needed and how to sample different configurations with the identical number of solvents. For a dynamic approach, we extracted configurations with different numbers of solvent molecules from an MD trajectory. For a static approach, we weighted and built random minimum structures, short WRMS. The random minimum structures are obtained with the following algorithm. One identifies accessible surface sites of the solute, adds a certain number of solid molecules and optimizes the resulting structure. These three steps are repeated until the targeted number of solid molecules is reached. In the shown example, a total of 180 water molecules have been added. For the calculation of the salvation free energies of a solute, the work required for the process of bringing that solute from the gas phase into the unperturbed solvent, we developed an ansatz based on subsystem DFT. In subsystem DFT, it is assumed that the total electron density of a supersystem, for example the density of our solute solvent cluster, can be derived from the sum of densities of its subsystem, being the solute and each solvent molecule in our case. SDFT has the advantage of variable scaling with increasing number of explicit solvent molecules, allowing us to describe large solute solvent clusters. Another advantage is the transferability of the subsystem properties. This allows us to compare the salvation free energies of a single solute in two different solvents directly while considering the effects caused by the explicit solvents. Our hybrid ansatz for the calculation of salvation free energies starts from the well established polarized continuum model, where the solute is placed in a cavity of a polarized continuum. We now formally replace parts of this continuum with explicit solvent molecules, describe the interactions of the solvent with the solute employing SDFT, and incorporate the resulting interaction energies in the definition of the salvation free energy within the framework of the polarized continuum model. One example we looked into is the Clayson rearrangement of the paratoluyl ether in water. The product of this reaction should be better soluble in water than the reagent due to the formation of a ketone group. Here we show the salvation free energies for the configurations with 10 to 180 water molecules obtained from the dynamic sampling with the force field based optimization from WRMS with optimizations based on the same force field and from WRMS with optimizations based on the same empirical method. For the reagent, the salvation free energies for the three different methods converge with the addition of 60 to 90 salt molecules to salvation free energies from minus 5 to minus 30 kJ per mole. For the product, all salvation free energies of the corresponding methods are lower than for the reagent as expected and converge also between 60 and 90 water molecules. With this, I would like to thank you for your attention and hope I could provide you a brief insight into our current work on salvation free energies with SDFT. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions about this project.